Hello and welcome to the Jeb Brown Show. Today we're going to be looking at some beef ribeye loins that I picked up from a special international supermarket that I like to visit in uh, north of Atlanta. And the store is called Num De Mun. And let's see, I'll show you. Look at the price on these ribeye loins. For a whole loin, $53.80. There's the name right here. Can you read that? Nam De Mun at Smyrna. Okay. Now, look at the brand. It's from Mexico. Okay. Which, that's no problem. No problem for me at all. I've been shopping at this place for about three years. Every time I go to Atlanta, I have to stop by there. And I carry a couple hundred dollars with me and I load up on the meat. And I come home and I cut them into steaks. And <clears throat> a loin this size, I've been getting anywhere from 11 to 13 one-inch steaks, depending on how uh, thick you cut them. I've been backing down on the one-inch, been cutting anywhere between a half-inch and three-quarters just to, you know, kind of make it last a little bit. But um, anyway, I got two of these loins. This other was $53.47 for a whole ribeye loin. But you're going to get like 13 one-inch ribeye steaks out of when you're done cutting it. I mean, we, me and my family couldn't go to the steakhouse and eat for less than $100. And here, I got enough steaks to feed us, you know, well, until we run out. We eat a lot of steak around here. But anyway, I'm going to prep, get everything ready, and I'll be back and show you how I trim it up. Thanks a lot. Okay, we're back. I'm gonna show you how to cut up these loins from Nam De Nam De Mun. Here, look at this bag. Looks inside out to me. Yeah, here we go. Here. Maybe you can read it a little better like this. This place has got any kind of meat, seafood, vegetable, fruit you can imagine. Stuff you've never even seen before. I mean, I, this place is just amazing. Every country, they have whole goats you can buy, buckets of blood. Um, it's just amazing. Just amazing the stuff that they have. Fruits and stuff you've never seen. Veggies, fried goods. Let me put my, stew, my stuff up right here. And you always gotta, I used to cut meat, so I know a little bit about this. I got this camera over here, let me get it started. Let's have an automatic cut off on it. Anyway, so, sorry about that. Getting back to this. Skacorn, product of Mexico. $53.47. Now, I usually cut this over at the sink, so I'm gonna do that real quick. So I don't get blood everywhere. Kinda let that drip off a little. Now, what you want to do, don't let this intimidate you, okay? What you want to do, you don't really have to trim it at all if you don't want to. But see this fat cap around here? I'll trim just a little bit of that off. See, when we cut meat, all this trim right here, all this fat and stuff, it would run into the grinder. It was chuck, you know, mixed with your other steak ends and stuff. And, you know, some, some butchers would come on down and, shake that tail up a little bit you know kind of shape it up a little bit but you don't you know then you, you wouldn't throw that in the trash you would throw that in a bucket and then grind it at the end of the day for the chuck the next day so you can either cut these into steaks or you can cut it into roast and make a rib roast or however look how pretty that is Mmm, love that smell, huh? Let me get my towel. 
but you want to go ahead and clean your cutting board everything real good before you do it have you a tray over here to stack them in now here's my problem i'm left-handed so i'm gonna to have to start from this side um, so you may I have to cut it. So what I like to do is I'll take this end piece and I'll just cut a little stake off of it. Just want to make a good, let the knife work. Go through the meat. Now, I'll keep that for that little girl up. Look at that marbling in there. It's beautiful meat, man. I'll put that steak up against any choice steak you go and buy for $11. I paid $5.49 a pound for this. You know how much these steaks are at Piggly, at, at Winn Dixie and stuff a pound? They're like 11, crazy number, $12 a pound. So, anyway, I'm gonna come on down. I'm gonna make this one about an inch thick. And you wanna have a good cutting board so your knife can do the work for you. Look at the ribeye. Look at that. Look at this ribeye. I got another camera over here I'm gonna show you. I mean, you're talking about $3.75 a steak or something like that, if it works out like that. I don't know, you can do the math. Um, look how nice that is. Beautiful ribeye steaks, beautiful. Now you wanna to try to stay Keep this loin as straight as you can when you cut, so you make nice, even slices. You see how even that is? If you get off a little bit, so what? You know, you did it yourself, you're saving money, that's gonna be, that's good. this steak's gonna taste a lot better to you. Trust me, trust me. And if you get off whack a little bit, you can just kind of trim it on up and, and uh, but I'm gonna cut one about an inch and a half. This is one of like that, like daddy likes to eat right here. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Inch and a half ribeye. Look at the marbling in there. Now, if you wanted to come in here and, and trim some of that fat and get all pretty with it like you do it when you put it in a case, and make it have a tail like a Del Monaco or ribeye does in the case. Cut that fat out if you want to. But, you know, fat is flavor. I leave it on. I leave it on. I paid for it, didn't I? <laughs> but anyway, it's just, it's a lot of fun doing this yourself. And like I tell everybody, you have to buy in bulk to save you so much money. And if you have a lot of kids, or a lot, you just need one or two. You know what I mean? Look at that. Gotta have a good, sharp knife. And see, in the, in the market, when I used to cut meat, we'd come in here, we'd cut that little triangle of fat out right there. You cut that out, and then you have that little tail. And that, of course, that just looks better in the case or whatever. You know. However you want to do it. You want to get fancy with it, you get fancy with it. Like I say, I usually cook that flat, fat, but I'm gonna trim a little for y'all just to kind of bring back more butcher skills. You know. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, I'm gonna cut a few more of these and I'll be back with you. Hey guys. Click the part two video under this one and it'll show the ending and how I package all the steaks and the total and how much each steak costs at the ending. You'll be surprised at the money saved. Thanks again and remember to subscribe and, uh, subscribe and thumbs up and like. Thanks.